Here, every day is an adventure. That's how it really is. Here in the tropical forest, every time I come to the field, I think, okay, let's see what I'm going to see today. From mainland, we have to come to the island uh, by boat. And from here, we as well have to use smaller engine boats uh, that take us to the different remote sites. Sometimes it can be a little scary when you're passing a boat that's maybe three or four stories high and you're in this tiny aluminum boat making tiny little waves. The research that we're doing, there's not another place in the world that this research has been done. Lianas are a key component of, of tropical forests and they have been a key component of tropical forests for millions of years. We're interested in how the competition between lianas and trees might affect the structure of the forest and the amount of carbon that is within the forest. Tropical forests store and accumulate 30, 40 percent of all of the terrestrial carbon on the planet. And so tropical forests are really incredibly sensitive ecosystems and they're changing and we're getting an increase in these vines which is leading to a decrease in, in tree survival, the number of trees and the size of trees. And that's going to have a huge impact on carbon dynamics in tropical forests. Or well, Bendrometer 309. If the carbon is not being pulled into the trees, it's actually sitting in the atmosphere, in the air, and it's causing problems for global warming and global climate change. Lianas won't take over rainforests, but they'll become more abundant, which will make trees become less abundant. What I'm trying to understand is how, at which point uh, do lianas become harmful for the tree? We weren't initially studying these questions for anything related to climate change. And that's the power of, of pursuing fundamental questions in, in science, is that you understand how the processes work, and then you can adapt to changes that are occurring in the environment. My students, both undergrads and grads, get to interact with some of the top tropical biologists in the world. And it's something that we can offer students through the Smithsonian, but we can't offer it without the Smithsonian. So we're, we're really fortunate to be able to work with them so closely. It's amazing that Stefan, that he's encouraging all of his students and all of these undergraduates to come here. And I think for UWM, it's an amazing opportunity that their students are able to come here. He's an astounding professor that does world-class work, unlike no one else, but is yet so humble about it. It's kind of awe-inspiring because you usually think of people that get to such an astute level in their careers that they, don't, they wouldn't have time for an undergraduate but he makes the time. I think it's a pretty amazing that UWM is able to s send students down to Panama every year and we're able to basically brag about the research that we're doing and that how, how cool UWM is. Every individual in the world should come to the rainforest and actually try to see and try to understand maybe just a tiny glimpse of it because it's gonna open people's minds and it's gonna certainly change the way they see themselves in the world.